Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Patterson. I'm an owner of a company called Powerhouse Investments LLC where I teach people how to trade and profit in the foreign exchange market and I expose the opportunity to people, right? So today what I'm gonna be doing is a video going over the very basic, basic, basics of Forex. So before you ever open a demo, before you ever open a live, before you even try to trade, these are just a few things that you gotta know. Um, this video probably is gonna be like three to four minutes. Before I get started, I just wanted to touch on something, right? So I am a business owner, which means that I run my business however I want, right? I don't like to be fake. I don't like to put on a facade. That's the great thing about being a business owner is that you can run your business however you want to. And you also can be yourself. So with that being said, a few customers may come out. I may break things down in layman's terms because at the end of the day, that's what people like right this is a very you know complicated market i've been trading for about one year now i'm 18 years old and so i like to break down things as easily as possible in the easiest terms that i know how to to reach people that are like me right i'm not the, the my target audience is to put people on that look like me and come from places where i come from so i'm gonna talk to reach that audience right so if a couple cuss words slip out or i may say something that's not really you know the way that other people that do these type of videos say it just cut me some slack because the art if you if you don't feel me then you're not my audience you just watching right all right so let me get into it Forex basics. Forex equals foreign exchange. The foreign exchange market is a $6.6 trillion market that is used for trading foreign exchange currencies, right? So the foreign exchange market just became a $6.6 trillion market about a week ago. Before that, we all knew that it was a $5.7 trillion market. And basically, a $6.6 trillion market means that every day, $6.6 trillion is flowing in and out of the market, right? So imagine, you know, you got a store. And every day, somebody buys $6.6 .6 trillion worth of t-shirts or $6.6 .6 trillion worth of this, 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 this. That's what this is. So, um, $6.6 .6 trillion flowing in and out every day. So, different countries use different currencies around the world, which makes up the foreign exchange market. There are eight major foreign currencies. I'm going to go over the abbreviation for the currency, and I'm also going to say, you know, the currency name. So EUR is Euro, USD is US Dollar, GBP is Great British Pound, JPY is Japanese Yen, CHF is Swiss Franc, AUD is Australian Dollar, CAD is Canadian Dollar, and NZD is New Zealand Dollar. Of course, there are more um, like the pesos, the other forms of currency, not even in the foreign exchange market like cryptocurrencies. You got Bitcoin, you got Ethereum, you got Ripple. All those types of things like that but right now we're talking about the foreign exchange market and we're talking about the eight major currencies right so when you pair two currencies together right when you pair two currencies together this is when you're going to actually get into trading and how you make money in the market when you pair two currencies together they are called a currency pair the most fluent currency pairs are euro usd gbp usd usd jpy USD, CHF, AUD, USD, NZD, USD, and USD, CAD, right? So that's Euro, USD, Great British Pound, USD, um, United States dollar versus the Japanese yen, United States dollar versus the Swiss franc, Australian dollar versus the United States dollar, New Zealand dollar versus the United States dollar, and the United States dollar versus the Canadian dollar, right? We have four sessions in the foreign exchange market. All the sessions that I'm going to say are converted over into Eastern time. So wherever you live, you might just want to um, convert the time frame over. So the first, no, not the first session, but the most liquid session that we have, the most liquid meaning the most money flows in and out of the market is the London session. So the London session is from 3 a.m. Eastern to 11 a.m. Eastern. The New York session is 8 a.m. Eastern to 5 p.m. Eastern, the second most liquid section, <coughs> second most liquid session that we have. The Sydney session, 6 p.m. Eastern to 2 a.m. Eastern. And then we have the Tokyo session, which is 7 p.m. Eastern to 3 a.m. Eastern, right? So the pairs that you see over here, they correspond, not the pairs, but the currencies that you see over here, they correspond with the session, which means that these currencies 
and there's a time that you want to trade these different currencies there's a specific time where you know the liquidity of the market is the highest everybody say highest okay the liquidity in the market is the highest to where you want to trade it so for the london session right for the london session that would be the great british pound and the euro for the new york session that would be the usd and the jp i mean not the usd and jpy the usd in the canadian dollar for the sydney session that would be the nzd and the aud and then for the tokyo session that would be the swiss franc right and the japanese yen so all of those um currencies correspond with a certain time frame right the time frame of the sessions so say you wanted to trade euro usd right the perfect time frame to trade that specific currency would be in the London session, the New York session, or where the London session and the New York session overlap. So you notice that the new the London session starts at 3, ends at 11 a.m. The New York session starts at 8 a.m., ends at 5 p.m. So there's an overlap of about three hours in the London session and the New York session where the Euro USD will be the most liquid or it will be the most volatile, it will move the most and you will have the most opportunity to make money. That time is between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. So that's the best time to trade that currency in that overlap because the USD belongs to the New York session and the um, the Euro belongs to the London session. So you want to try to trade that currency either during London, New York, or where they overlap, right? Um, another example is, let's see, NCD USD. You probably want to try to trade that either during the New York session or during the, um, the Sydney session. Um, because the USD is the New York and the NZD is the Sydney, right? So those are the times where the um, the banks in those different countries are just not opening. And as you know, or you may not know, banks control the way the market moves, right? Because they have all, they control all the capital in the world. They have like, they, like we're trading, we're trying to trade with the banks. We're trying to make the moves that we feel like the banks will make when we are trading, right? So you if you're trying to make the moves that the banks would make you want to trade these certain currencies during oh i got excited dog i'm saying during <laughs> you want to trade those currencies during you know the times that those um those banks and stuff are open because you want to trade with the market i wouldn't want to trade usd you know when banks banks usually close at five that's why the new york session is at five yeah, Euro USD. I want to want to try to trade that during the Sydney session because neither the London session or the New York session is open. So that means the banks from you know the United States, neither are the banks from you know Euros are actually open at that time. So it's going to be slow, 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 slow movements in the market. You know, you might not get that push. You might get false you know signals from the market because that's not actually the market hasn't actually prepared to make its move yet so that's basically it for the basics on the next video that i do that's related to forex i'm gonna do pips um how you actually make money maybe how you work the metatrader app possibly um, if you guys want any more information, I have a um, Instagram page. It's called Powerhouse Invest. Okay, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, learned something. I hope it brought value. I hope it wasn't too unprofessional because some of y'all was on my last video like, ah, na, 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 na. It's unprofessional. I was like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay, but I hope it brought some value to you. I hope it didn't really waste, you know, 10 minutes of your life. I said it was going to be like three or four minutes. I will completely lie. Um... I will do more like basic videos leading up to intermediate videos about the foreign exchange market because literally the my forex video is the video that got me a lot of views and pushed me to be able to monetize my channel. So I'll be, you know, not very smart if I didn't do more of these. Um, my last video was basically talking about my company, but I wanted to do something for people that maybe just want to trade or learn a little bit more about trading. But the educational platform that I learned all this on it's called I Am Mastery Academy, right? Um, if you like the way I teach, if you think that, you know, you want to learn more and you couldn't learn everything that you could learn in these short 10 minutes, well, you didn't learn everything that you could learn in these short 10 minutes and you're ready to take your trading to the next level, um, you can join my team. You can hit me up on social media to get more information. Um, my main Instagram is City Girl Tyler Inc. 
my um business instagram is powerhouse invest twitter city girl tyler snapchat city girl tyler so everything is really city girl tyler um my number is 313-283-0303 that's my business line so you could call or text with any questions that you have and most of the time i text back um pretty quickly um and yeah everybody I subscribe to my channel because i'm about to make more videos since i'm about to get paid